Hello there, I'm Ann Edwards and thanks for joining me. Now, the beauty and grandeur of Dubai brings us to the third annual Islamic Finance and Investment Conference 2013, where a number of hard-pressing issues need addressing. Now, they include Dubai as the hub of the Islamic economy and whether Islamic finance can be the driver, the catalyst to spur this economy. Let's find out. If money makes the world go round, it definitely did at this conference. Some of the most influential and money-making figures were present to give their take on how to spur the Islamic economy. Looking at 30 years, 40 years ago when we went through difficult cycles, uh, one of the mistakes was we, we had trading partners with few trading partners. We needed to, do, to diversify that diversify our products and this is just one example of keeping Dubai ahead of the game. Uh, in addition, His Highness is aware of, of our hedge, uh, Sharia compliant hedge funds, the successes, the awards. He's, uh, His Highness is aware of the trade flow uh, platform of Murabaha and when he made that announcement, it's not that we were ahead of, curve, uh, ahead of the curve, but we're happy to promote our businesses with the track record that we have, the awards and the business we have. Alongside Islamic finance to drive the economy is Aukaf, or Islamic endowment, looked upon as the key to alleviate poverty, especially among Muslim nations, which makes up half of the list of the poorest nations in the world. What we want to do, we want to revive and re bring back to life the Aukaf that we had that our communities enjoyed for centuries back again. Mm -hmm. So are we doing something new? No, we're not. We're going back to our basics. Mm -hmm. We're going back to our traditions for supporting mm -hmm. the communities. Major highlight at the event was the power debate session acknowledging Dubai as the leader in Islamic economy. Already Dubai has taken the lead in terms of announcing this vision. But now it's the Islamic financial institutions need to be inspired by this lead and take action to follow through with those, that vision. So it's banks themselves that can take the lead. It's a matter of leadership and vision. However, the Islamic finance industry has yet to fully capitalize the links between the various Islamic economy sectors and Sharia compliant capital. We need to go back to basic and focus more on the key products that are there. Which are the key products? There are basically the Musharkas, mm -hmm. the uh, Mudarbas, uh, the Vakalas, the Stisnas, where the entity takes a true risk in the investment and it is a true risk participation and reward sharing. Mm -hmm. That needs to happen and when that will start to happen, one will build the confidence and build the economy as well. With 10 of the world's 25 rapid growing markets having large Muslim populations, there are tremendous growth opportunities for the Islamic banking and finance industry in retail, SME, trade, finance and wealth management. The conference has ended, but what's just starting is the will and the strength to spur the Islamic economy to greater heights. And Edwards, in Dubai, for Amelin TV.